eggy vision. It makes it brighter. Yeah, I'm gonna talk right like this now. Listen to the play of this game. Controls. Mass. Click. Right click. Oh, that's easy. Verb school. Humble pie. And there's bonus episodes. Ah. They have different episodes. Let's do verb school. <laughs> Herb school. Come um, hello? I'm coming, I'm coming. Well, what do you want? Is this Pew's Pew 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 Polarium? Um, how much money do you have? 20p? 20 old pence. 20 whole pence? 20 pence, is it? Then, yes. This is Pew's Pew Pew. Whatever it was. You'll teach me how to... Bit of hands main. <laughs> oh, let me move uh, myself out of the way. Ah. You can read this. Uh, let me put me in front of that. Ah. <laughs> Bit of hands away. How to win more chicken dinners. Oh, how blue LEDs make your PC go faster. <laughs> I want more chicken dinners. How to win more chicken dinners? Ah, well, to come first in Battlegrounds, you must first expand your mind. I was hoping for something like, always hide near foliage. Patience, young'un. First, I must teach you how to walk. I know how to walk. <laughs> Hello, you. To make the other one walk, just point and click where you want it to go. Shh. Good, good. Listen, I'm freezing me nuts and bolts off here. Let us go inside the verb school. Uh, you said this was Pew's Pew 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 Pelarium. No refunds. <laughs> Walking. Nailed it. Excellent. Now I must teach you how to talk. Now, just you wait a minute. Talking? Have I come to Beryl's Boo Boo Baby School for Babies by mistake? Hello again. I'm giving you a talk to button. When you get control back, click on the talk to button, then click on me. I promise this is going to improve your battlegrounds game. I'm extremely suspicious right now. <laughs> yeah? What would you like to talk about? It's a colony. What's next? Egg sucking for grandma. What's next? Egg sucking for nanas. Actually, the next thing is opening and closing things. Hello again, you. I'm turning on your open and close buttons. This is very exciting. Shh. <laughs> opening and closing. So, like opening up loot crates. Uh, yeah, if you like. Actually, let me summon the loot crate. Now, open the box. There's something inside it. Something troubling. Oh no, close it, quickly. Oh damn it, not this again. It's a... Uh, actually, what is that? Aha! Let us find out using the power of... Let me guess, verbs? Yes. Verbs! Hey, go power! <laughs> Me it will. Again, activating the look at button. Now to learn how to look at things. These people are from where I'm from. I know from. this was only 20p, but I'm feeling ripped off here. Look at that <laughs> thing. Look at it. God. It's a small. I want to say monkey? Close enough. Well, we can't have a monkey running around willy nilly. Maybe I could. Talk to it? No, we need another verb. <laughs> there you go. Pick up the monkey. <laughs> it's the game's mental. Right, so now you have got a monkey. When do we get to the pew pew? Ah, first you must learn the art of giving. This is the worst battlegrounds tutorial <laughs> ever. <laughs> Patience. One second. Activate and give is quite tricky sometimes. Who? Give me the monkey. Give it. 
Oh, hey, Alex. get stuck. Talk to me for more help. Right, bye. Oh, thanks. thanks. Give I'd like it to... to me now. That's, yeah, Alex, I will do a best of 2017. I might do that, um... Maybe even today or tomorrow. Yeah, today or tomorrow I'll uh, I'll make one. I'm gonna find all just the best vids though. Because there were quite a few, obviously there were loads of uh, clips from before I started doing the highlights videos. So like, a be yeah, best of 2017 would be a great idea. Right, so I've got to give him the monkey. Give. Terrifying monkey to little Victor. What are you gonna do with it? Don't worry about it. So what now? Let me guess. It's more verbs, isn't it? Ah yeah, just giving you a couple more. Right, you've got push and pull now. We don't actually need to test those, they're pretty easy. Actually, no, you have everything you need already. Every possible verb for every conceivable situation. Oh, there's something missing. I feel like there's something missing. What do you mean? Well, I've got push, pull, open, close, give, talk, to look at and pick up. Our most verby verbs. Yeah, but... Uh, can I source it? Um, I'm not working, so... Streaming today, I'm not working till the 8th. So, early streams in two days. Two days and two hours, we're gonna be doing a 24 hour stream. Me and Melum. What about literally every other verb? Hey, this list of verbs What from? about... Literally every other verb? Hmm. You mean some sort of... Super verb. Exactly! Something that would cover everything else you would ever need to do. Yeah, something like... Dampen. Dampen. Look, you're obviously not ready for the super verb. I am. I'm proper ready. Hmm, if you sure. I am mega sure. I'm mega sure. Okay then. This is the big one. Please be yeah, smell, please be smell, please be smell. It's use. <laughs> I can't just use use for everything. <laughs> Why can't I just use use for everything? Use is probably the one you'll use the most. Okay. But humans love buttons. This is true. I love buttons. What's better than one button? Hey, Miko. No Dark Souls. Not, not right now, but I'll probably uh, be playing a bit later. I'm waiting for the adapter so I can play it wirelessly on my controller. I got this today. Oh, you can't see because it's in green. Oh, no. Down there. Play and charge. So I can actually... So I've got a, a charging pad for the controller. Then the wireless adapter should be coming soon. This is not Dark Souls. This is Yorkshire Gubbins. It's a game set in Yorkshire where I'm from and they all talk like that. Like a comedy point and click game. Four buttons. Uh, four buttons? Nine. Nine buttons. Whoa. Imagine it. Nine whole buttons. I am imagining it. I'm very excited. That is why you have the other verbs. Because humans love buttons. Humans love buttons. <laughs> How do we use use then? Okay, so you can use directly. Let me summon the button. Wait, that's <laughs> no button. Hmm. Pies. Walk. Use. Use the pie. Hmm. A custard pie. And here's me, a clear authority figure. So, I should pick up the pie. Please don't. I'm gonna push the pie. I'm afraid that verb doesn't work on that. How do I know what verbs will work? Hey, it's a spiral. How are you doing? Question. The answer is, you don't. It's a puzzle. A fun puzzle. Oh no. Oh yes. Uh, talk to the pie. I'm afraid that verb doesn't work on that. Ah. Uh, pick up the pie. Okay, well done. You passed the test. You, uh, 
graduated verb school. Was it verb school? You don't want me to prove I know how to use things on other things. Seems like that would be pretty important. No, no, it, it is fine. I, I trust you. Uh, give custard pie verbal victor. No, it's mine. <laughs> hey, Menace, how are you doing? God, go back to whatever it is. Space dance, is it? Oh. How are you doing, Menace? Uh... I'm going to have to talk to him, don't I? <laughs> it's only a three euro game. Oh, Atty's here. Hello, Atty. How are you doing? I have to talk to him. I am ready to graduate. Hmm. You haven't tested use button yet. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah, I can figure it out myself. If you're sure then, I will transport you to the realm of Edvard Dole. Please don't. Too late. Already done. No! Oh, really, Miss? This looks exactly finish. the same as the other room. The other room was bluish green. This one is greenish blue. Totally different. Okay. Hello, you. I actually have one more thing to tell you right before you take your graduation test. Right clicking on stuff does look at. Right clicking on people does talk to. Right clicking on doors uses the door. Shh, ah. top secret. Actually, that door <laughs> really want to finish that then, Menace. Work. How long that did it take you? Is the entrance to the room of infinite doom. I've taught you all I know. Literally. Enter <laughs> if you dare. Farewell. Wait, what about my chicken dinners? Total <laughs> waste of 20p. <laughs> oh no. Not babies. Anything but babies. <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> oh, gross. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. Hey, up. <laughs> Hello. Not Hiya. Behold your doom. 215 hours. Whoa. Okay, that game's grabbed you by the balls. Where to go? I love that. I'm going to take a long time playing that game. Babies. Why do it have to be babies? Everyone loves babies. I hate babies. <laughs> okay, so what the fudge is going on? Okay, to graduate verb school. Which I didn't actually sign up for, by the way. <laughs> you must judge the babies. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> How do I test the babies? Ah, well, there are three key metrics for any good baby. Are they safe? Are they clean? Are they normal? It's the first one. We're done. Hurrah! No, <laughs> no, no. First, you must prove you've properly evaluated each baby. Then I shall give you the first place for set. Depending on the best baby, and you win. Oh, my God. <laughs> Like I Car oh, not Coronation Street. Emmerdale. Coronation Street's the other side of the Pennines. I think actually in this game you meet people from Lancashire. It's like, um, it's Coronation Street area and Yorkshire's sworn enemy. And I think, uh, uh, I had a quick look at a review, it sounds really funny. How do I test if the baby is safe? You all seem pretty safe to me. Oh, the babies are safe. But are we safe from the babies? Oh! Check if the babies themselves are dangerous. <laughs> exactly. Where are you from Have again, Minus? Have a look around for something that may provoke some sort of violent reaction. Until then, don't don't turn your back on them.
How do I test if the baby is clean? You've got a nose, right? Go up to each one and have a sniff. I knew it. I told you smell should have been one of your verbs. All right. Oh, wait. <laughs> Did we not give you smell? No. Well, I'm totally stuck then. Never mind. <laughs> How do I test if the baby is normal? Well, you need either Professor Rudder Buttock or Reginald Gromley PhD to study him. Are either of those people here? Well, no, not anymore. They were here a few days ago, though. Is this some kind of hint? It is literally exactly a hint, yes. <laughs> okay. okay, bye. Bye. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Baby judging supplies. Uh, open. Okay, I'm just going to take everything. There's a Udgram Junior normality measuring device and a load of baby toys. Great. Walk to Smelly Derek. <laughs> Talk to Smelly Derek. Hey, up. <laughs> pick up. I want to pick up Smelly Derek. Hey, boy. Hmm, his lead is trapped under that rock. I can't pick him up. Oh. It's too heavy. Maybe I could move it. Oh, yeah? Can I push? Phew. Hey, up, son. Pick up Smelly Derek. Here, yeah, boy. <laughs> I've got Smelly Derek here. Love his name. Smelly Derek. But if I give Melly Derek. No, it's mine. <laughs> uh, use Melly Derek with baby Come on, what does this baby smell like? What? That bad. Crikey. It's on the table. Aye. Use. Smell this baby. That's not a good smell, baby. <laughs> Go on, boy. Have a sniff. You failed, baby. Okay, that's clean, ticked off. <laughs> hmm. The machine says this baby is a 4B. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What does it mean? That baby's too cute. That baby? <laughs> Machine's saying it's a G72 slash D? That means the air is too fluffy. A fiendish baby trick. So, what does 22F mean? Oh, no, it, it really says 22F. <laughs> Look for yourself. That means that baby has irresistibly chubby cheeks. That's just gross. Bad baby. That's normal sorted. Now we need to do... Uh, dangerous. I use the red baby chew toy. With I don't baby. think use is what you want. Okay. Yeah. Give Oh my god, it's eating it! <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> Bad baby, no! Right, you're done oh. with safe. And that's everything. You can ask me. But first place rosette now. Go on then. Have the rosette, Let's then. have the rosette then. There you go. Just pin it on one of babies. Honestly, don't matter which. This feels so wrong. Uh, give the first place set will give it to the middle baby. Ah, baby B. Tell me. Why did you pick Baby B? I don't know, Menace. Random? They're all basically the same. I see. And what have you learned? Point and click games are ridiculous. You know nothing about Battlegrounds. Whoever made this game needs help. 
Verbs are light and important. That you know nothing about battlegrounds? Okay, I admit it. This isn't Pew's Pew 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 Polarium. I know. It was a ruse. I know. This is just verb school. Yeah, I know. It's just I haven't had a customer in 30 years. I'll understand if you want your 20p back. <laughs> I do want it back. <laughs> but you can keep it. I'm rich! Uh, Whoever made this game needs help. You don't know the half of it. That point and click games are ridiculous. That is very kind of you to say. That verbs are, like, important or whatever. Aha, uh -huh. yes, that is the lesson. Congratulations, you have graduated verb school. <laughs> Joy, oh, you are now ready to play the classics of the genre. And also, really shoddy modern ones like Yorkshire Goobins. Yeah, brilliant. Can I go now? You can go. Oh, <laughs> you can help me figure out what to do with these babies. Wait, who actually knows these babies are here? Um, one, two, five people? Are you including me, you and the babies? Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, just, uh, forget I said anything. Bye! Well, that was amazing. That's the tutorial. Fucking weird babies, hi. Alright, so now I'm going to play Humble Pie. What a bonus episode. Holy Molluscamoni. Episode 1. Game of the Year. <laughs> Cowbell. Oh, this is amazing. It's the Great Yorkshire Pie Baking Competition. I'm making my special meat and potato pie. I've already made the pastry. Time for the filling. <laughs> it is weird, Miko, definitely. Uh, look at this. Recipe for special meat and potato pie. Make the pastry, done that, chuck the potato in, then add the special meat. Pop it in the oven at quite hot and leave it until it smells amazing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think many like people outside Yorkshire would get that. Do you get most of it, Menace? Uh... It's me fridge. <laughs> Ooh, here's everything I need. I'll take the potato and the special meat. Lovely. Special, lovely. What is special meat? Uh, use the potatoes. Chucking the potato in. And then use the special meat, whatever special meat is. Wait a minute, this isn't special meat. It's just normal meat in a special meat wrapper. Oh, Who that's... could have done this? And more importantly, where am I going to find some real special meat on competition day? Oh yeah, I'm Emmerdale, yeah, this is very Emmerdale. And Vicar Dibbley. If you're in Ireland, I kind of grew up with uh, Father Ted, so we're even. Uh... And look in the mystery cupboard. It's a wooden box with doors fixed to the wall. Mm. Baking foil? It's some aluminium baking foil. Can I uh, pick, pick it up? It's me fridge. <laughs> It's a murder. Is that Yorkshire? Oh, the Ted is amazing. Uh, I wanna use the fridge. I'm already using it to keep things cold. <laughs> it's a pie with only half the filling. One Very relates. <laughs> One relates. No, I don't want to disturb the pie Chlorians. It's set to quite hot. Well, I'm going to have to go to uh, find the meat, aren't I? Not now, Steggy. I'm watching Yorkshire's fattest dogs. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
I have meat-related troubles. My special meat. It's... it's... just normal meat. Bloody Nora! Look at the size of that doggo! Put wheels on it and you've got a bus! Mum! <laughs> I need special meat. Now! Now, Mum, now! What do I look like to you? Am I a butcher? Am I a cow? Just chop off a bit of my own flank, shall I? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Any idea where I can find special meat today? It's the Yorkshire Pie competition, isn't it? Yes. So, all the butchers will be closed, because they'll be down the park. Exactly. Well, I know exactly what you should do, Stiggy. What's that, Mum? Get a job! Helpful, <laughs> Mum. Thanks. Well, enjoy the dog thing. I'm off. Good. Oh, there's a letter for you. Oh, it's uh, from Petrella. She said it was like life or death. Crikey, where is it? It's uh, on, on the floor somewhere. I, I don't know. Mum, it's too dark to find anything in here. Ah, well, have, have fun with that. Right, but uh, use the switch. It, it's too bright. Turn it off. I need the light. I think of this. Hmm, it's from Batrella next door. Dear traitor, you ruined my wedding. Now I ruin your pie. Oh, God, no. She's got all my special meat. Oh, no. This Labrador's got stuck in the door. <laughs> How would Petrella do this? We're meant to be best friends. Oh, it's this next door, is it? Where's the other one? One betrayer. Well, well, well. If it isn't Bridesmaid of the Year... You're being sarcastic, <laughs> right? You're being sarcastic. I'm not quite Obviously. sure. Please, may I have my special meat? You've got some cheek after what you did. What did I do? Oh, you know exactly what you did. Oh, one second. The, uh, my charging, uh, my, uh, adapter is here, so I better be. One second. I'm back with the... Oh, we can't see it. Adapter! Yes. So I can finally play Dark Souls now, Mika. 
Right, where were we? We were in. Honestly, some exposition around here would help. I ruined your wedding, apparently. Absolutely nothing. And over me. I ruined your wedding, apparently. You'd been cloned by a slug monster again. Don't be victim blaming, Steggy. Look, you attract them, okay? Ay, they love my lovely skin. Okay, and you wanted me to prove that you were the real Betrella? I. But I didn't. I. I got you totally drunk. I got you totally drunk. I, but I'm not fussed about that. You can do that whenever you like. Yeah! <laughs> I covered you in mud. Sorry. Ah, you <laughs> ruined is. my wedding dress. Sorry. Actually, you can take it with you and get it washed. And don't be putting it in with you. More pants. three dimensional characters. I drenched you in salt water. Aye. You tried to kill me slugkin clone. I had reasons. Hey, Go Bianca, it how's it going? Your friends now? Ah, well, we have a lot in common, Steggy. Fine, make amends to your slug monster clone. Easy. I left before the ceremony started. I am not bothered about that. I ate your dinner. <laughs> yeah! But you know what makes Ducks from Lancashire, love like. you know. He's sensitive. Normal Paul? You better go say sorry. He's in kitchen, crying Grand. probably. <sighs> okay then. That's everything? It'll do. So if I do all this, I can have my special meat? It's not about the meat, Steggy. It's not Steggy. about the meat for me, Betrella. Just make amends and we can be friends, alright? Okay. I love these characters, they're amazing. Oh, normal Paul. Oh, hello. Come to apologise, have you? Okay, I'm sorry. Go on. I'm mega sorry. Hmm, please continue. I'm so sorry, I can't even. Steggy, oh, I can't accept your apology until you rebalance the cosmic scale of normality. Hey, Emma! Oh, thank you so much for the host. How are you doing? Oh, can we get a shout out for uh, Emma the Unicorn? How is your stream? You, you're coming at a very strange game here. This is really bizarre. It's uh, called Yorkshire. What was it again? Yorkshire Gubbins. It's a point and click. And uh, we've got Stegger. I mean, yeah. Hey, up, Emma. There we go, mate. If you don't follow Emma the Unicorn, make sure you go and give her a follow. She's great, grand, she is. How was your stream? What have you been streaming, Emma? The Kuskarov Nugger. You made our wedding super, super, super weird, Steggy. Hey. It wasn't me that cloned Petrella. And yet, I require a gift. A gift of such superlative normalness <laughs> that the scale of, of normality accent. shall at last be balanced. How about pie? You want some pie? <laughs> Pies? <laughs> you can't balance cosmic normality. Oh, Dragon with Age, pie? nice. Silly me. Everyone knows that. I want a new Dragon Age to come out because I couldn't really get into the last one because I think I, I was playing The Witcher 3 at the same time and that just uh, blew me away. Have you played that one? Is there a specific gift you have in mind? Well, obviously, you need to find something that's exceptionally normal. Right. Probably a 37 on the Udabutik Gromli Normality Index. Okay. <laughs> Here. Take my Udgrammometer. Udblagometer? Find something between 35 and 38 Udgrams and bring it here. Udalopter? <laughs> See you later. Don't do anything weird. So what about if I use this on the foil? It's just showing a sad face now. <laughs> or on the letter from Betrayer? Or the wedding cake? Wedding dress cake to It's mud. either too high or too low. Oh. Uh, first one. I've never never played the first one. I don't even remember having uh, like available to play. Mm, too low, I think. You got bar. Oh, you will love the witch. Are you going to play the first two as well? I'd love to watch. I've already got all three of them, but I've not played uh, the first two. Um, is there anything in here? 
Special pie meat. Ooh, I want it. I'm just gonna take this special meat. That's only for friends. <laughs> uh -oh. Bye now. Bye. Take care. Reminds me of the woman, the old grandmother in Benidorm. This a ginnel. Walk to a ginnel. Now, do you know what a ginnel is? Passage. Hey, let me in. The password is. Shush. Oh, a human. Shush. 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 A uh, uh, fellow human. Go away, you blithering dunce! Oh, an Irish. What the fudge was that all about? Irish for you, uh, Menace. Hey, up. Not seen you before. What do you want? I, I would like to come in, please. Why? I'm just going through every door I see, to be honest. <laughs> come on, then. <laughs> What's the password? Uh, trick question. There is no password. It's a trick question. There is no password. Ha! No. <laughs> a password, eh? What's going on in there? Are you doing crime? It's none of your business. I think you're doing crime. This is a crime house. It's not. It is crime. <laughs> crime is happening here. Look, it's just a secret club, okay? Members only. Is it a crime club for doing crime? <laughs> nice try, human. Human? Bugger! Is this a club for slug monsters? Go away! Put a banana, put a banana in your ear. This is a stupid door anyway. That's it. Clear off! Oh. Come on then. What's the password? This is a stupid door anyway. That's it. Clear off! Nice. Uh, let's go to Trophy Street. Okay. Go to Walter Print, home of trophies and printing. Welcome to Walter Print, the home of great value, not witches. I think you just said witches by mistake. <laughs> there be no witches here, girl. <laughs> it's a life-size picture of a robot's face. Neat. <laughs> you can take it, child. It's really funny. It's only um, three euros as well. I recommend it. <laughs> so far, just it's it's entertained me for nearly an hour, so it's worth it. Let's okay. <laughs> Well, I'll put it on YouTube. I'll put it on my YouTube after. If you type in exclamation point YouTube, I'll uh, upload it once I've finished it. I'll finish this episode. I appear to have come in here by mistake. Forget to mind people. Aye, uh, the Irish is criminal. Exactly, Bianca, they are. What's he saying? I appear to have come in here by mistake. So there's nothing else. Can I use... An the... Ugga Flubber Ding? <laughs> Can I use that on him? Minus 200 Udgrams. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just to see. It's in the, even in the Winter Sale as well. It's such a cheap game. Welcome to Wendy Print. Home of great value. Not vampires. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, thanks, Emma. We got to a hundred followers, that's why I can use a slash biggest Venus now, it's great. I'd really better be going. Beware the moon. Okay, no vampires in there. It's just taking a little turn for the unexpected. Free sock and mitten shop. All no! Right. You, you can't make me go in there! Why? No! You, you can't make me go in there! <laughs> why does she not want... This is a very fancy looking bike. Custom plate too. Pie man. Oh, I want that. A blubbernometer. Oh. It's either too high or too low. Mm. Walk to a strange around these parts. Hello. Oh, it does, You're not Nico. Local, are you? No, girl. If I lived in this grot pile you called a town, I'd have to kill myself. Ah. You must be from London. <laughs> <laughs> who are you and what are you doing here? Don't you know who I am? Should I? Don't they have television here? What about the internet? What about electricity? Do you <laughs> have that? You are a most unpleasant man. What's this town called again? Turdbridge? Is that your bike outside? You keep your hands off that bike. Are you Pie Man then? You honestly don't know? 
I'm Greg Pyman. Whoa. You don't know who that is, do you? No. <laughs> Tend to that. Do you have electricity, yeah? Actually, I don't want to talk to you. Good. It's a whole bunch of washer dryer machines. Perfect for cleaning Betrella's wedding dress. There we go. Not paying that much for it, though. <laughs> no credit, oh no. Oh, walked washer dryer with actual credit already It's in. a washer that's ready to go. The only thing in there is a pair of underpants. Plenty of room for Betrella's stupid dress. I'll have to do something to make that. Uh, but it won't let me. Get off that, you bloody peasant. <laughs> Can I use the, the baking file on him, on his face? I'd better not. Better not, no. Internet, the ambul ambulance. Here, gotta go. Hey, what if I ruin his fancy looking motorbike? It's some baking file. Very shiny. Fine, to which to wardrobe? E bag. I'd better not. I'd better not. I need to find something that can do something to his motorbike to get him out. Not today. Not today, Satan. This is a custom plate, too. Aye. Pie Man. Mm. To the left. It's Petrella boasting she's got all the special meat. No apology, no meat. That's the situation. Difficult situation to be in. Jeez, that's printing trophies. That's... No vampires there. Go back down. Walk to some random shrubbery. Go away. Oh my god, a talking bush? <laughs> no, uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'm a talking bush. Now bugger off. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wait. Can I go further up? I, I won't need to go into town today. This is episode one. I think there are more episodes coming out soon, hopefully. Play them. Great grand they are. Mm. Oh, got to part. What's that? Free something now. Plug in rights. Well, well, well. It is an old slug hunter herself. I'm no slug hunter. How very dare you? You sprayed me with salt water. Not enough to kill you. You didn't know that, though. That's a fair point. Sorry about trying to kill you that one time. Thanks, Deggy. I appreciate that. <laughs> so can I tell the real, uh, other Betrella we're friends? No, I, I need your help with this protest first. Ah, oh. You tried to kill me. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So what's this protest then? We're protesting the pie competition. Why? What have pies ever done to slug monsters? We're called Deggy Slugkin. Has. And it's Good not enough. the pies, it's the judge. Who's the judge? Just some fancy bugger who hates us. I'll tell you bed, it's quite a bag, I'm alright. I'm at, I'll go to the foot of our stairs and I'll see you later. Have a great grand sleep. I it must be late over there. Emma's in Japan, guys, if you don't follow her, please click her name in the chat and hit that follow button. She's really, really nice. Very friendly, happy, welcoming, welcoming streamer. He'll uh, make you feel right at home. <laughs> Have a good sleep. Uh, also, Emma, in two days, in like two days and one hour, I'm going to be doing a 24 hour stream with Melon. Hope uh, you can drop by. If there's any PvP or multiplayer games you want to play, let us know and we'll, uh, you can join. It'll be fun and go crazy. All right, see you, Phoenix. Thanks so much for uh, dropping by. Have a nice sleep. That's the one. Oh, no, forfeit. Oh, dancing. So what help do you need with this protest? I need you to get me out of it. Seriously? It's so boring, Steggy. You've got to save me. So hey. what's keeping you here? It's Randy down at Slugkin Club. He's the boss. You want me to murder him? No, just, you know, talk <laughs> to him. With your mouth. Alright, Emma. Catch you later. Night-night. Oh, that's 
Good. Don the Dead. Is that the... Um, which one was it? That The original or the newish one with uh, Disturbed in it? So if it's the new one, I really like that. I don't think I've seen the old one. But they, well, not new, but it's like 15 years old. I really liked it. But what about the cause? I oh, will. Well, obviously that's dead important. But ultimately, you're a clone of Betrella. Hi. Which means you just want to go to the pub. Hi. <laughs> See you later. Get me out of this, Steggy. Steggy. <laughs> Oh, what's this? An unattended bag. Crime! Crime is happening! Can I open it? It won't open. Can I pick it up? Clearly, it's my civic duty to take an unattended bag. Hmm. Till the way out. A visit to town would be nice, but I don't have time for that today. Town. Just going to town. Hmm. What about this bag? Hmm, too low, I think. Take his ass. Should I? Mm, what should I do with this bag? What's the more with? I have no idea that, but it was made quite a few years back. Yeah, zombies in the mall is because they had like a remake, but I can't remember who. Bing Rams, I'm going to see if it's the one I've seen. Dawn of... Is there any disturbed in it? Your mother get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Yeah, 2004, but there's also one in 1978. Uh, yeah, no, Bing Rams is in it. And Sarah Polly. Ty Burrell, the guy from... Uh, uh, Modern Family, is in it. Hi, so I totally forgot about what I'm doing. Okay, you need to get my wedding dress cleaned. Do something nice for normal Pearl. Oh. Make things up with slugging Betrella. And then you're done. Hey, okay. Uh, well, what to a ginnel? Apparently, it's a talking bush. Could maybe have a poke about inside it, though. Go on, then. Mm. Push it. Uh, you're a robot! Keep your voice down, love. Hmm. I've not seen uh, House. I, I really like that film, actually. I don't normally like horror films, but that one was uh, it's just pretty cool. Who are you? I'm Teddy. Terry doesn't seem like a robot name. I like Teddy. Alright, I'm Teddy. <laughs> so, are you in hiding or something? Are you fudging kidding me, love? <laughs> you some sort of gardening robot? I did some gardening once. Got mud in all my cracks. Not doing that again, I said. They didn't listen. So I stomped their flowers, didn't I? Flattened the lot. Never got asked again. Excuse me, I've never met a robot before. Well, what's to know? I was I'm made by Yorkshire Robotics. I am designed to be safe, clean, and normal. Hmm. How's it? I've never seen here. Aunt Teller. That's in house. That's the one with, uh, what's his name? A British guy, isn't it? I totally forgot his name. Listen up, Terry. Normal or not, you're coming with me. No. The only robot who could tell me I'm normal and give me all clear is dead. There's oh, no hope, love. No hope at all. Well, I got the machine. Say, you haven't overheard any passwords. Oh, you mean for the secret slugging thing over there? Exactly. I must have heard it hundreds of times. So what is it? Um... <laughs> They said to say you could let me have it. Oh, that's fine then. Wait a minute, this is stupid. Hey, you. Slug monster in door. What do you want, Terry? I just told her your password. Bloody hell, Terry! <laughs> May as well just let her in. This is a secret club, Terry! You're welcome. <laughs> Listen up, Terry. Normal or not, you're coming with me. No, the only dollar. robot who could tell me I'm normal and give me all clear is dead. There's no hope, love. I'll use no the machine on him. I'd 
better go. Keep your voice down. Holy hell, Terra. No doubt about it, that robot is exactly what normal Paul needs. Mmm. It is dead. Can I go in here? So, can I come in then? Why? Why do you want to come in? I've come to murder Randy. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I've come to talk to Randy. Talking, eh? Huh? What wow. about stuff? It's stuff, is it? I oh, can't argue with that. <laughs> Whoa, is everyone here a slug monster? Hey, she's the one that tried to kill Birchella 13. Is that true? Chuck her out, Boris. Wait, please. I desperately need a cup of tea. <laughs> she just yeah, wants tea. We can all relate to that. It's true. No tea for criminals. Chuck her out. No, wait. No. I'm here to talk to Randy. Me? What do you want to talk to me about? Yeah, the voices are great in this. It's Bertrella. She's not coping. Oh, is Bertrella been moaning again? If you make her stay there much longer, I think she might die. All the Bertrella clones are like this. So you let go? <sighs> Look, we need some leaflets printed up. Leaflets about what? About what a bleeding tosspot that judge is. Aye, he's our greatest enemy, the slug killer. Okay, give me the leaflet. We uh, haven't actually written it yet. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, we've all got some ideas for it, though, haven't we, Boris? He's a feckin' tosspot. So, get some quotes from us, get it printed, jobs are good. Fine. It's, uh, Slugkin is, they seem to be like monsters and clones in this game and robots. It's a bit strange. I have totally forgotten what I need to do. So, what's your quote for the leaflets? He's trying to make it illegal for us to clone people. But in your natural state, you don't have thumbs or hands. Exactly. So, I could say he wants to cut off your hands. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Put that in. You're the boss then. How's that working out? Aye. It's not it bad. is interesting. Organising <laughs> Thanks, this Phoenix. one's a pain in my bum though. Catch I you can later. imagine. And that Birchella clone is a chuffing nightmare. Chuffing nightmare. Are there a lot of Birchella clones then? Oh, she's so nice to clone. A lovely smooth head. Am I going to be cloned one day? You? Old lumpy head? I don't think so. Old lumpy head? Bye. Do you have a quote for the leaflet? He wants permission to farm Slugkin for the sticky ghoul. That's dark. He'd have us in cages with humans going at us with spoons. I think that speaks for itself. <laughs> so, you're kind of naked. What's the matter? Does our natural state disgust you? It's... Very different. <laughs> Hater. It's Hater. just, there's a lot more sticky goo than I was expecting. Bye. Oh, a tiny betrayer. Anything you want on the leaflet? It is set. He has underpants made from the skin of us looking. Whoa. He's the only monster here. Okay, I'll put, dresses himself in the skin of a slugkin. Wow. That fiend. That fiend. I think that's enough quotes now. Just needs printing, somehow. Oh, well, I went to that one, didn't I? So, you're a tiny Betrella. Sometimes the cloning goes wrong, Steggy. You look sad. Why'd you look sad? I'm supposed to be getting married this weekend. To Tiny Norman Paul? You have to help me, Steggy. I should say I'm not good with weddings. It's me dress. It's, it's normal sized. And you're extremely petite. I said I need a tiny one. Tiny, I said. Too much to ask, apparently. That's harsh. <laughs> 
Bye, tiny Petrella. Onto the stairs. Chill out area. Right, I'm ready. You may enter. <laughs> so, uh, what's with the box? I'm hiding my face. See, you make it sound like that was a stupid question. <laughs> Wait, are you a sticky clone? With your stupid lumpy head? I don't think so. Hey! Oh god, are you another Betrella clone? There's about 20 Betrella clones now. So she does attract Slugkin then? She's just so buttery smooth. You better just tell me right now. <laughs> you promise you won't be angry? I promise I don't have any salt water on me. Fair enough. The truth is, I've cloned your mum. What? <laughs> <laughs> Get a job, Steggy. No, no, no. Don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> Say, are you using that box? It's mine. Get your own box. Please, I need it. Please, oh my God. See, this is why she wants you to move out. I know. I take it. I don't care. I win, Mum. I win. <laughs> Bye, Mum. I mean, uh. Ah, start paying rent. This is a nightmare. <laughs> Your job is looking after the door. And the password. You don't have to do that now. I loved that password. I'm sorry. We never even got the password, did we? Right. You're actually 37 udgrums of normal. No, that's not true. That's impossible. It's true. It says it right here. Lies. I can't be normal. Why do you think I'm hiding? I'm being hunted by a spork jogger. Spork jogger? Spork jogger? Spork jogger? They're an elite team of bounty hunters tracking down rogue robots that aren't normal enough, like me. So, you plan to just spend the rest of your life in this shrubbery? Well, I was going to, but then a bloody human came along and ruined it. Listen up, Terry. Normal or not, you're coming with me. Oh, no, you're, there's no hope. So what makes you think you're not normal? Well, I'm hiding in a bush, aren't I? That's <laughs> it? Why not just come out? I can't, because spork joggers will get me. But the only thing wrong with you is that you're hiding in a bush. I don't make the oh, I've rules. I've got the up. box. I can put the box, box on him. And how do we get you back to normal? Hmm. I suppose another robot could run my diagnostics. Give me all clear. Go on. But they all just damn me to spork joggers, traitorous buggers, a lot of them. You must have a robot friend. Hmm. Well, there is Keith. <laughs> a robot called Keith? Remember the mission to put a robot on moon? That were Keith? No, but he was under rocket when it launched. Wow! How did he survive that? Oh. <laughs> I'd better go. Keep your voice down. Can I use the box? No, I like not being in a box. Uh, okay, can I use the give box? No, it's mine. Mm. So, mm. bye now. Bye. Take care. It's very Yorkshire. You know, they just walk into people's houses. Let's take his mum same. Bye, mum. We'll start paying rent. <laughs> See you later. Get me out of this, Steggy. Can I give? No, it's mine. It's not. Um. What's the stolen suspicious looking bag then? Nothing else over here? Can't go out to the way of town. Could put the 
bag maybe on the motorbike all the police i won't need to go into town today yeah. i am from yorkshire miko yeah that's why it's uh good this proper good Wait, this is the printing wait where's printing oh my trophies and printing perfect <laughs> I've got a leaflet. I need printing. I cannot print for ye today, my child. That hateful beast next door. She has cursed my printer. Ye mark my words. She is from the depths of hell itself. Right. So you're not a fan of Wendy print then? We were married once. Say no more. Back then she... Ah, no. I mean, literally, say no more. Please. Suit. E self. Um. That ye thing is an affectation, right? Ye mock me now, child. I appear to have come in here by mistake. Like it must be. I need a leaflet printing. Preferably for free. No money, eh? Then I shall pit you against the devil himself! Not this again. Have that foul stench water close his pestilential shop for the day, and you shall have ye leaflets. And Walter Print's printer is broken, so I'm basically stuck. Happy days. What was it you wanted me to do again? Have Beelzebub's own sphincter close his accursed lair. That's what. Any ideas how to do that? Not a single one, my child. Hmm. I'd really better be going. Gold. Beware the moon. Uh... Would you mind closing your shop for the day? Abandon the town to the demonic forces of hell. You enjoy your hyperbole, don't you? It's life and death here, just one day. As long as there be one soul left to save, I shall be here for all ye printing and trophy engraving needs. Huh. I appear to have come in here by mistake. Mm. No, I'd like not being in a box. Do I give him the bag? No, it's mine. Nope. Hmm. So I can't go in here. No, you, you can't make me go in there. Gluten free shoes. <laughs> oh, he is, he's from uh, Doncaster. I'd better not. No, I'd like not being in a box. What are you washing? Looks like you're just washing a single pair of underpants. Have you had an accident? How dare you! <laughs> That's an accident. Say, there's a lot of room in your washer. So what? Well, I have this dress I need to get washed. Plenty of other washers, girl. But there's so much room in there. Your underpants are lonely. Get a job, hippie. Uh... Come on, let's share. Or else. Or else what? Violence. <laughs> Terrible, unthinkable levels of violence. LOL! <laughs> Lol. I'm off to plot your ruin. As if. Uh... The label on it says, Property of the great and mighty little bilge. Grovel at my feet, unworthy slime, and give me back me stuff now? 
In your face, little bilge. I'm keeping it. Huh. What about use the... No way I'm paying real cash money for this. I go out this way, can I? Not today. Not today, no. Um... That's when this stops. You again? Come in then. Okay, I'm allowed in now. Oh, then it Randy Slug Person? Oh, they're all Slug King Slug Persons. It's a bag that belongs to Little Bilge, which I'm keeping because I hate him. <laughs> What's in. Why did I get the box? I feel like I need to use. No doubt about it, that robot is exactly mm. what normal Paul needs. Well... If... No, it's mine. Uh, so, uh, look at the box. Then. It's like a robot costume if robots were made of cardboard and didn't have faces. Hmm. No, it's mine. Hello? <laughs> Can I use it on myself? Ah. Mm. I'd better go. Keep your voice down. Any ideas, people? There's anything yeah, I'm missing. Bye now. Bye. Take care. It's the special meat I need for my special meat and potato pie. I need it. See you later. Don't do anything weird. Normal Paul. It's very normal. Nothing mm. in Steggy's ass. Bye, Mum. I'll start paying rent. It's the light switch, which my mum won't let me use. <laughs> it's my fridge. It is. Pick up a fridge? <laughs> it's a pie with only half the filling. One relates. Anything? It's already open. It's already open. I put anything in the uh It's fine as it is. something we could probably do with her. Maybe See not. you later. Get me out of this, Steggy. Do I do on her? I'd better not. No. Use the bag on her. I'd better not. No. Use the box. No, I'd like not ah. being in a box. Could give her the box, couldn't I? No, it's mine. Can't use it, but I can't. Uh, now it's a lot more like a robot ah. costume. Still missing something though. I don't want to put a shiny box on me. Hmm. 
It's a large, shiny box with armholes. So it's missing something. I don't want to put a shiny box on me. No, it's mine. Right. See you later. Get me out of this, Steggy. Is there anything else I can pick up? What about if? No, it's mine. What's missing then? We've got the silver. Uh, Steggy's ass. Nothing in Steggy's house I'm missing, is there? Why not from Steggy's? There he is. Get into her fridge. See you later. Don't do anything weird. Hmm. We got to a gennel. Give this. No, it's mine. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'd better go. Keep your voice down. I'd better go. Keep your voice down. Can I push the bag? It is unpushable. You're unpullable then. I can't pull that. Can I talk to the bag? Hey up! It's a bag that belongs to Little Bilge, which I'm keeping because I hate him. Mm. What's wealthy? There wasn't anything in here that I've missed. Oh. It's a life size picture of a robot's face. Neat. You can take it, child. You don't need me to oh, sacrifice and I can make it like a robot. Anything. Then I can use this. Is this. The poster isn't going to stick to the box by itself. Mm -hmm. Need some glue or something. Something sticky. Uh... It's Petrella's wedding dress. I threw mud at it while she was wearing it. It was necessary. I appear to have come in oh, here by what mistake. sticky thing can we find? Mm. No, you, you can't make me go I, in there. I can't go in there. This is a very fancy looking bike. Custom plate too. Pie man. Can we do anything with it? I'd better not. Oh. Anything sticky in here? They're washers I don't want to pay to use. from the club yeah which one the club the secret club not today not today I'm going to town today Let's see if there's any sticky in that club then Ginnel 
You again? Come in then. Oh, the. Hi. Just went to everybody. Bye. Can I use it? Oh, maybe I can stick. Use this on that person. Please forgive me. How <laughs> dare you! Right, the poster's good and sticky now. Yeah, you're right. A foolproof disguise, no doubt. Okay, here we go. Toasty warm. <laughs> Oh no, I've been found. It's okay. Keith. Keith. <laughs> is that you? Uh, yes. It is I, Keith the robot. I thought you were dead. Never mind all that. My friend Steggy sent me. Who's that then? Uh, the woman who was talking to you a few minutes ago. Oh. She said you needed a diagnostic. I do. <sighs> Run diagnostic? Running. Oh, I am nice. safe, clean, and normal. Well, what do you know? I'm normal. Right, well, nice seeing you again. Bye now. Bye, Keith. My best and only friend that I ain't seen in years and thought were dead. Yeah, bye. <laughs> okay, so now... Ah, that's better. Chapter. Hey, so I hear you're officially normal again. You heard that? Already? I do not find this suspicious. Hey, listen, how'd you fancy coming with me and helping fix the cosmic scale of normality? That sounds terrible, love. But I have been in this bush for about ten years, and I'm starting to get bored. So, uh, go on then. Up you <laughs> come then. Victory! Hey. And get the normal thing. Get normal Keith will be happy. Here you go, one very normal 37 Udgrum robot. Safe, clean and normal. Yes, yes, this will do it. It's normal enough. I'm boss level normal, love. I can use his pure normalness to balance the cosmic scale of normality. Um, Teddy. He's called Terry. Such a normal name. So normal. Steggy, I officially accept your apology. Well, that's one down. Got to sort out the two betrellers now. Hmm. How the pie? It's the special meat I need for my special meat and potato pie. I need it. I want it. I'm just going to take this special meat. That's only for friends. Ah, oh, not friends yet. Okay, so I've got the robot thing. Maybe I can... Bye now. Bye. Take care. Maybe I can dress as a robot. Talk to betray a woman. Hey, right now, how's it going, Rob? How's the... Right, if I use this... I'd better wait until I'm in the ginnel. Don't want to get picked up by a spark jogger. Ah, oh, can I use it in there? See you later. How's the doing, Rob? How's your stay. appendix? Is it gone now? Have you removed it? No, it's mine. Have you played this game? It's really strange. I think so. I can use the bag with I'd that. I better not. No. It's been retired, has it? Yeah, they're overrated. So how was your New Year's Eve? Doing nothing in a hospital. No, it's mine. So what can I give to her? Uh, Bye, Mum. What's that? Paying rent? <laughs> it's Yorkshire. It's called Yorkshire Gubbins. It's rate grand. Uh, I'm a bit stuck now, though. We're going this ginnel. It's an improvised Yorkshire robotics robot costume. Should be good enough to fool a robot, anyway. What to talk? Oh, God. That's awful, Rob. Okay, here we go. Toasty warm. You've not had one for years. Jeez. You again? Come in then. Bye. Don't say anything to this. Hey, Ito, how's it going? Oh, 
Oh, they don't. Bye. They don't respond to my outfit. Bye, mum. I mean, uh. That's weird. Ah. Can I pick up mum? I can't even. They are overrated. They just cause problems, don't they? Can I give the bag? No, to... it's mine. Uh. No, it's mine. Uh, okay. I feel like I should do something with her. I stole her. I got the box from her. I need to work. Oh, I'm doing very well. That sucks. You have to work. I don't for a little bit. Mm. Bye, tiny Betrella. See, that's... He needs... Oh, she needs a... Very small wedding outfit. Hi. Oh, you can see. Nice. Yeah, it's, I love, love, love it. And uh, Miko's in the chat, so you can have a lot of uh, discussion with Miko. She loves it. I better take this off first. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> I appear to have come in here by I need to get him to shut his business down, but what could shut it down? Bags? No, it's mine. I think I need to do something to the bag, but I don't know what I can get. That's a good thing. to him no it's mine what? and i it's a bag that belongs to little bilge so that, which yeah. i'm keeping because i hate him how about if i look at it's petrella's wedding dress i threw mud at it while she were wearing it it was <laughs> necessary and he finally finally has given you the uh the glider Oh, that's amazing. Is, have you, I'm guessing you haven't got any further than that then. Because that's just like, I remember playing that and being like, wow, this is amazing. It's an amazing world. And then you get off that plane and you're like, oh my god, it's even better. It's even crazier. Um, it is unpushable. Hmm. Can't pull that. Can I open it? Get off that, you bloody peasant! <laughs> it's not. There's something with his motorbike. Will maybe let make him leave? Mm, yeah, I'd say so, Rob. I, would, I went for like one heart. No, I think I went two hearts, and then I went up my. I put my stamina up. I put a couple of hearts first though, just to make sure. Make sure I wasn't going to get one-shotted. What was it you wanted me to do again? Helve build Bilbs own sphincter. Close hills a cursed lair. That's what. Any ideas how to do that? Not a single one, my child. Well, I'd really better be going. Gold. Beware the moon. That wasn't a hint. I've got the pie, I don't need that. Letter from Betraya. It's Betrella boasting she's got all the special meat. No apology, no meat. That's the situation. I've got the wedding dress cake tin, but I've got the normal measuring tool. I've got this suspicious bag, which is unusual. And then the robot costume. You again? Come in then. 
I've already talked to all of these, haven't I? So... Should I give the bag to these people? No, it's mine. I'm gonna try it with everyone. Okay, so... No, it's mine. No, it's mine. I have Miko, yeah. It belongs to a guy, but I haven't found that guy yet. What if I use it? I'd better not. Get a lot of, you better not. I'd better not. Better not. I'd better not. I'd better not. No. Oh yeah. It's amazing when you fun when you unlock like an ability and then you increase your stamina, it gets a bit easier. You can also cook make your stamina better. There's nothing in there. No in Steggy's ass. Nothing here. Annoying itch. Not today. It's a bag that belongs to Little Bilge, which I'm keeping because I hate him. But who is Little Bilge? I haven't found him yet, I think. Mm. Yeah, I would do that then. If it's stamina that's getting you, increase that. I'd better wait until I'm in the ginnel. Don't want to get picked up by a spark jogger. Oh. Mm, put the bag in the oven. <laughs> It's fine as it is. Okay. I'm already using it to keep things cold. Mm. Oh yeah, if you start climbing a mountain and the rain comes, prepare to slip. Can I use the bag with... The okay, room? here we go. Toasty warm. I don't use the bag. This feels wrong somehow, and yet she persisted. Hmm. It's a notepad ah, that go. says diabolical schemes. And opened it. Aha! Contraband. Some tiny firecrackers. Ah. Retrospective moral justification for the win. Then I can put that in the... Guy's motorbike. I better take this off first. I have to put that in his motorbike. I won't need to go into town today. The wrong way, aren't I? Yeah, Rob, me too. I want them. I really hope it comes to the Switch. If it's coming to some. Uh, like, if the GameCube games are coming to the virtual console, then I really want to play. Windows, but then won't they just be like, oh, we'll just put the HD version on. But then that's the Wii U version. So I don't know. Okay, so we've got... I use firecrackers with his motorbike. A few little bangs should be enough to lure him out. Three, two, one. <laughs> what? My bike. <laughs> My precious bike. You did this. You are from London. You brought this on yourself. Madness. <laughs> Madness. I'm calling the police. You wait right there. Ha. <laughs> nope. You stay away from my pants, you hear me? I have a place to myself. Um. It's a washer that's ready to go. The only thing in there is a pair of underpants. Plenty of room for Betrella's stupid dress. It's already open. All right, let's stick it in then. Okay, that's ready to go. Just shut the door and it should begin. That's true, I tell you. There's so many cool little mechanics like that. 
It's a washer dryer and I've put Betrella's wedding dress in it. Close the door and it'll start automatically. Right. This is gonna take hours. Uh-oh. That was suspiciously fast. Is it gonna come out tiny? It's finished. Uh... Oh no, it's tiny now. Hey, Petrella's gonna kill me. Look at Little Bilger's book of diabolical schemes. Oh, we need to read that. It's mostly a few hundred ways to use stink bombs. There is one vaguely diabolical scheme though. Go to one of the trophy shops, order ah. a worst trophy shop trophy, then give that trophy back to them and say, you win. <laughs> Whoa. Oh no, that'll make him close Please, out. Please, tell me my pants are okay. Then give him that. Dress. No, it's mine. You're joking, right? He'll punch me in the nose. On the worst trophy. I would like to order a trophy, please. I, I can do you a trophy. Uh, what shall it say? Um, worst trophy shop. <laughs> Hello? This again, is it? Ye be doing the work of a demon. Sorry, did I say worst trophy shop? I meant to say... Um, least lumpy looking. Come now, that can't be what ye really time. want. Oh, do you not see? Because when, you, no, when you're in you're the right. storm, it starts to... Let's uh, have... Glint. Uh, world's best pie? World's best pie? Yes. Are ye sure? No, wait. <laughs> best trophy shop. Uh, best trophy shop? Oh, this is a trophy shop owner's dream, my child. For years I have pursued the dream of value and not having witches in my shop. You're a hero. <laughs> Here ye go. Right. Well, um. I use it on him. Aren't ye going to present it to me? I don't know. This is for Wendy Prince. No, you failed a witch inspection last week. I see what be happening here. Ye had me make a best trophy shop trophy for that unholy beast next door. This town has fallen to the devil. It is too late to save it. Well, balls to ye! I leave ye accursed souls in the hands of Wendy. May the Lord have mercy on your putrid, rancid soul. So, you gonna shut down for the day? Get out! I feel like I'm lucky to get out of there alive. Walter Print is closed. You have struck a fallen blow against rock. evil, my child. I'm not proud. Can I have my leaflets now? You may. And what shall be written upon them? Uh, down with the slug hunter. Down with this sort of thing. Down with this sort of thing. Yeah, you found the Ted reference. Then, <laughs> careful now. Oh, I got the achievement. Careful now. Uh. That is, that is my favourite part of this game. Father Ted. He dresses himself in the skin of a slug king. He dresses himself in the skin of a slug king. Then? He wants to cut off slug king hands. And what next? He wants to farm slug king for their goo. With spoons. And what next? That's it. Very well. This fellow sounds like a prize beast. Very much so. Who is he? He's called... Uh, you know, I didn't think to ask. I see. Here are ye leaflets. Yay. Will I give it to her? No, it's mine. Okay, maybe not. Can I use it? I better not. All right. So yeah, let me go back to that place then with the leaflets. Oh, Giddle. 
There's a the gibble. You again? Come in then. I'd better not. What? You mentioned you need a tiny wedding dress. It just so happens. I have this thing here. Oh my god, Steggy. You've saved my wedding. Hey. Don't suppose I could okay, have Rob. a full-size one. Enjoy. Yeah, I don't need it. Going straight just for it. You, though, Let me know how it's you feel. It's not for me. And how the game goes. Mm. Bye, tiny Betrella. And that's the normal one, yeah. Okay. Here are your fudging leaflets, Randy. <laughs> Aye, it's not bad, this. Dura. I will let Bertrella go to the pub. Yes. I mean, assuming she ain't already gone. She ain't already gone. Ah, uh, gum. Guessing I'm getting close to the end of this uh, episode. Petrella, it's sorted. You're free to go. Steggy, you're a saint. He had me writing leaflets against the competition judge. The competition you're about to make a pie for? Hey, now wait a minute. I didn't think of that. Don't worry, Flower. It'll be fine. How close are you to getting your special meat? Just got to sort Petrella out. Get her dress back and then she'll be okay. Hi, so I totally forgot about what I'm doing. Okay, you need to get my wedding dress cleaned and then you're done. Hey, give the wedding dress. Right, let's have a look at this then. It's as good as new. You're telling me the label's come back. <laughs> ha, really? <laughs> How bizarre. That's dead good. I can take it back to the shop and get my money back. <laughs> Classic Petrella. All right, Steggy. You've done enough. If you want the special meat, it's yours. It's yours. Finally. I mean, thank you. <laughs> it's the special meat I need for my special meat and potato pie. I need it. Take it. Finally, come to me, special meat. Meat victory! I shall now return home and finish baking this pie. Good luck, Steggy. Thanks, normal Paul. Ooh, to black. There's no time to waste. Let's get this pie finished. Right, we born in a barn. <laughs> Achievement unlocked, born in a barn because you leave the door open. Amazing. Hey, Kentish man, how's it going? Enjoy this. Ah, oh, you, you've been watching it. It's really funny, isn't it? No problem. How are you uh, How are you doing? Happy New Year to you too. This is just, this is a perfect game to be playing in this time of, like, you know, late afternoon. Don't even know what date it is because I'm on holiday. I'm on holiday. Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon. This is a perfect Wednesday afternoon game, this is. Right, use a special meat with pastry mm, beers. Lovely. I gotta stick it in the oven. Wait, pick up. Ooh, that's a good hefty pie. <laughs> and use the potato pie with the oven. <sighs> well, here we are. My pie is baked and I'm as ready as I'll ever be. It smells lovely, Steggy. You can't lose, babe. Right, let's get this over with. That voice. Seems familiar. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look, I'm not eating that. Looks like you brought it here in your belly and puked it up. Thank you, Mr. Pie Man. Get out of my sight. Right, who's next? Uh, Guy. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it's just the robot. Looks like an actual pie. Smells good. Let's have a taste. Oh, wow. That's great. What's your... Hello! <laughs> <laughs> you! Hey, up. It's the slug killer. Wait, what? Oi, Dustbot. Who read this yet? Ah, oh, mate, Steggy wrote it. 
You destroyed my bike. You print this filth, you're disqualified. Forever. Lifetime ban. Oh, for crying out loud. After all that, I get disqualified. You're lucky I don't pull your bloody head off. Hey up, mates. You better bugger off back to London. Aye, Steggy's with us. You tangerine bollock. Aw, oh, you guys. <laughs> Where's the staff? The locals are being mean to me. You're not allowed. That's it. Off your pop, you chuffing nutter. <laughs> I don't care what some fancy pants slunking there in Tuspot from London says. This here is the best pie. Give me some. No me. No me. Today was a choice between my friends and being banned from this competition for life. Me first. Me. Give it to me. Yay, friends. <laughs> Amazing. Well, that was awesome. I recognize that name. Charlotte Gore. With Hassel. And they were a turn. This is game. Unfortunately, I've done my game of the year. It, I don't know if it'd be in my top 10, but it's definitely uh, interesting. I want to go to a bonus episode. What's this? Holy. Oh, it's the prequel. This happened to the wedding dress, maybe. Ah, what a lovely day for a wedding. It I hope is. nothing goes wrong. Oh no. Steggy, you have to help me. Hey, oh, Obi. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah. yeah, baby. Yeah. Monster. What oh, thank you so much. No, she's you the slug monster. You're the slug monster. You're ruining my wedding. You're ruining my wedding. No, you. Uh... Okay, which one of you is the real Vitrella? Me? No, me. Me! Liar. I had a feeling it wouldn't be that easy. A slug monster says what? 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 <laughs> Tell me something only the real Betrella would know. I know you were once sick in my handbag. I know you blamed it on normal Paul. It was normal Paul. Tell me something you can't find on Twitter. I know you're afraid you're being watched by a duck. I know the duck is called Bernard. Bernard? My brother Bernard is a duck. This is no use. Mm. This is classic you, Betrella. This has only happened once before, Steggy. Yeah, I mean, it's not like this always happens. Okay, okay, whatever. I guess Muggins here needs to get this sorted out. Hurry! Everyone's waiting for me. They're waiting for me. No, me. No, me. <sighs> Well, what's up here? All right, Stella. No one calls me that anymore, Uncle. Betrella has been cloned by a slug monster. Ah, so that's why there's two of them. Yes. <laughs> Aren't you Burnley's foremost authority on slugs? No, but I did have a slug in my garden once. Close enough. 
Any idea how to build a slug monster detector? Hmm, let me see. Slugs are attracted to beer, aren't they? And slugs are also stickier than humans. That could be useful knowledge. And salt, of course. Slugs eat salt. Ah, oh, but there's no salt for miles. Let's talk about beer. Ah, oh, yes. Slugs love beer. Right. And this is a wedding. There should be some beer somewhere. Great. Explain the sticky thing. Perhaps if you could fill air with something. Something that might stick to slugs. Like what? Hmm. I'd suggest confetti, but there's an international confetti shortage. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Let's chat about salt. Now, obviously, some sort of salt spray would be perfect. It was the first thing I thought of. But salt is illegal now. Oh, hmm? yeah. Our new Prime Minister banned it. Yes. A sticky, beer-loving Prime Minister. <laughs> I do not find this suspicious. Hopefully you can find a way to make some salt. I'd better get cracking. It's nice seeing you again, Stella. Ah, <laughs> mm, Batman. How yes. Beer? Two pints of your finest ale. the salt, I Invitation. Know. You're kidding. No invitation, no beer. Mm. But this is a bridesmaid's dress. You think I normally dress like this? You get all sorts in here. <laughs> Fine. I'll pay. We cash. Two pints. That'll be one million pounds, please. Hilarious. <laughs> Invitation or bugger off. It's friendly. I've had enough of this. Don't forget to leave a tip. Boom, terminal. Hey up, oh, Bill. <sighs> go away, Staggy. No, you go away. I worry first, Grandma. <laughs> You're a cheeky bugger. You're a smelly fart. How dare you? You know this is a wedding, right? You could have got dressed up. Why are you like this? Is this going to take all day? I have important work to do. So what's that robot thing? Oh my god! Don't you know <laughs> anything? That is my Yorkshire Robotics robot. I thought they only made robots for old people. Why haven't you got one? Didn't those get recalled or something? Yeah, something about it's got Asperger's in it. You mean asbestos? Whatever. <laughs> you can't get high on it anyway. How do you even inhale a robot? You can't. It's too big. Oh my god. I feel you lack parental supervision. You're just jealous I drive a better car than you. You're ten years old. And you're a hundred years old. So what? Lovely chatting, as always. Whatever. It's a Yorkshire Robotics robot made from asbestos. I think I have to take it now. Yeah. I'm sorry, but this isn't a safe toy. Tyranny! It's for your own good. This is the nanny state. Yeah, and I'm going to put this robot in a crusher. <laughs> I think he's a bit salty. Ah, it's a bit salty. Right, hotel rooms, anything further up here? Ceremony hall, go to ceremony hall. No, please, don't make me look at it. Maybe not then. Hey up, Steggy. Bertrella's been cloned by a slug monster. Classic Bertrella. I know, right? Please may I have your invitation? No. <laughs> Please may I have your invitation? No. no. I heard. You weren't invited to the wedding. Petrella was very specific. Lies. No, Bernard, that's what she said. Oh, yeah? What do you call this, then? Oh, it's your invitation. Never mind. I'll just hang on to this 
for safety. Okay. <laughs> so how's that novel coming on? A treatise on sociological implications of contemporary robotics. I thought it was a story about a cat called Jeff Goldblum. It isn't. And he goes to buy a little hat from a shop. That isn't what happens. But the hat is made out of meat. No. Nope. So he eats it. Where are you getting this from? And he has to buy another hat. Okay, fine. Yes, I'm nearly done. Happy? Very. I'm going to sort out this slug situation. Golden. Have fun. Okay, so now I can get the beer. So yeah, this is the sequel. Prequel, sorry, the prequel. Ryan Child. I have an invitation now. Happy? No, but what can I get you? <laughs> Ellen's finest liver bypass. That will be pumped to modern dipple. Roid muggle brew. Two pints of my than Roid muggle brew. It's off. Damn you. Two pints of top modern tipple. It's off. Seriously? Two pints of Ellen's finest liver bypass. Coming right up. Oh, no. It's off. Naturally. <laughs> Hey, Max Forte, how's it going? I'm trying to learn to recognize Yorkshire accents. Is this a good example of it? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah, it's definitely a Yorkshire accents. Kind of emphasized a lot. If you want to learn Yorkshire accents, a really difficult one is a film called Kez. Pronounced, uh, spelled K-E-S. They're all, yeah, right, they're from Bardsley. They all talk like that. That's a really, really strong Yorkshire accent. Two pints of Sobe Pumper. It's off. Really? Oh, wait, hang on. I forgot to turn the beer thingy on. The beer thingy? Yeah, right, here you go. Was that so hard? <laughs> right, got my beer. Where are you uh, from, Max? If you understand anything without subtitles in that, I'd be very surprised. It's really, really tricky. Even for me. Sobe Pumper? Oh, lovely. Give me some. Me first. Not me. Hmm. Results inconclusive. The embosoning achievement. So, um. Robotics toy? How could I use that? I'd better not. They're already furious with me. Hmm. I give him a asbestos. Ah, mud. It's sticky mud. Lovely, lovely mud. It's in the US, anyway, guys. Oh, cool. Yeah, there are. And it's really strange because, like, from one, like Liverpool and Manchester are really. Uh, I'd better not. Nah. Man Liverpool, and Manchester are really close together, but they've got such different accents. It's so weird. Once mud. was enough, I think. Oh, I got mud. Good, good, good. Let's use the mud on them. It's good and sticky, but it's too clumpy. I wonder if there's something I could mix it with. It with. Hey, bit booby bounce. <laughs> there is that. Trust you to notice that. I guess Muggins here needs to get this sorted out. Muggins here. Hurry! Everyone's waiting for me. Mm. Explain the sticky thing. Perhaps if you could fill air with something, something that might stick to slugs. Yeah, so like like what? Mm. I'd suggest confetti, but there's an international confetti shortage. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Uh, I'd better get cracking. I do see you thing. again, Stella. What if I use the beer with? I'd the... better not. No, maybe not. Then. Can I talk to you for anything? I have an invitation now. Happy? No, but what can I get you? I need to think about it. You're all right. You're all right. I'm a bit new. That's a like. You in here yet? Oh yeah. Leave some mud with his tears? I'd better not. No. Give me some beer. I'd better not. That's not beer, that's the invitation. Right. Uh, what about if I give him back his robot? I'd better not. No. Can I give? 
No, it's mine. Oh. <laughs> hey up, Steggy. I'm going to sort out this slug situation. Have fun. Will do. Uh... I think I'd like Thimbleweed Park. No, please, don't make me look at it. Ganky was playing it yesterday. It looked awesome. Uh... Going this way, maybe? No. Ah, okay, here we go. Somewhere new. And handheld fan. Ah, oh, is that a Yorkshire Robotics hurricane in your hand? Oh, that tickles. Is it to the kitchen? I don't need to go to the kitchen just yet. Oh. Uh, hello, dear. Couldn't help noticing you have a perfume sprayer. Why, yes, it's head number five. Beautiful. Don't you agree? Head number five. I don't suppose I could borrow your perfume. Whatever for, my dear, you smell delightful. Like Christmas pudding. <laughs> Seriously, though, please. I need it. Like freshly washed socks. Needs it like freshly washed It's an emergency. Really? Like cashmere mittens. Bachella has been cloned by a slug monster. A gun? I know. She must attract him or something. <laughs> Bye, Mrs. Grubwump. Don't forget to come to my shop. Mittens or socks for your hands. Uh, I will, Mrs. Grubwump. That's why she doesn't want to go in there. Maybe the kitchen's got something. It's a sink filled with what can only be described as matter. Maybe this isn't the best venue for a wedding. No, not in the kitchen. What about a cup? Can't pick that up. Oh. Oh. Ew, there's a right nasty bit of addock in there. Pick up that. Oh, what a stink. I bet they can smell this at other end of the valley. <laughs> so yeah, that'll make her give me the perfume. What about use the mud with that? I think all that's good for is getting rid of hazardous chemicals. <laughs> right, I got the fit. Oh my goodness, you smell like a tramp's underpants. I don't suppose I could borrow your perfume now then. Oh yes, yes, take it, please. <laughs> Now go, before I chuck up the dinner. Say no more, Mrs. Grubwump. Uh, so if I use the mud with the perfume? I'd better not. Okay. It's not then. Uh... Hmm. Anything further up here? I'm trying to open this uh, adapter. Reception. What? 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 Yeah. Why are you bursting in here? What? No, because the light at the back is broken. Uh, right. What well, could I? He's crying. He's not going to give anything, is he? I should probably leave him be. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Mella, 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 Mella. How's it going? Oh, thanks, Miko. Try exclamation point Mellum, I think that's a... Uh, that's one. You'll learn some Yorkshire accents, Mellum. In this one. Um, 
I'm trying to think what I can do with... Are they going to say anything about my... No. I'd better get cracking. I've uh, seen you again, Stella. It arrived. Finally. All invisible. Uh... Can't really use the perfume. I better not. They're already furious with me. <laughs> use the fish with. Wood? I'd better not. No. Uh, where's this part where I get stuck? This is a game uh, set in set where I'm from. Uh, it's sticky mud. Lovely. Lovely, Lovely mud. <laughs> Can I not use perfume on myself? No. When's your next stream, Miko? Lovely. Lovely. How's work? Are you working? Hey, this will not open. Oh, I've got these things. Better get cracking. Better get cracking. Better get cracking. I've seen you again, Stella. This is like if it's like the first. Uh, yeah, if there's anything like the uh, this is the prequel, but if it's in like the first episode, it's gonna be like everything will fall into place right at once. Oh, with tears. Yeah, that's what I was thinking it. I to bet the perfume I can't just use that. With myself. I might have to look at it. It's a bottle of Hebden number five perfume. Not sure this stuff is exactly legal. <laughs> this stuff. is the second worst smelling thing I have ever put in my bag. What's the first? <laughs> Do I wanna know? Maybe I'll put the fish back in the kitchen. And I can talk to her. Um, so use. Goodbye, Ebden number five. Hello, empty bottle. That's kind of an accident, but I'll take that. Hmm, that's how to empty it. And yeah, maybe with the fill it with the tears and mix the mud with the tears. Yeah, I think we've got it. Yeah, that's it. Give me your tears. <laughs> Your liberal, your tears nourish me achievement. And then use that with the mud. I'd better not. Ah. Oh. It's gonna be salty tears, aren't they? Hey, Robo Kitty, how's it going? Bubbles from Ah, uh, I've never. I'm one of those weird people who's never seen bubbles from Alpha. I've, tried, I've seen like a bit of it, but I've not really used it. I've not really watched like more than one episode. This has to work. So. You spread me. Me too. You'd have you feeling a bit melty? Melty? No. Angry? Yes. <laughs> She's melted though. Look. I'm not. You are. Look. Oh, okay. come on. <laughs> Strange and random, Robert. That is definitely this game. But the other thing I've got, I've got this fan. What about if I use the fan with the mud to break it up? I don't think it would survive that. This thing looks lethal. <laughs> mm. That's empty again. I'd better not. Better not. Mm. This one I just randomly saw it on a tweet. Somebody said, and I'm from Yorkshire, so I thought I'd have to, have to get it. I know, I know, Max. I was more of a Frasier person. Oh my goodness, you smell like a tramp's underpants. Um, Bye, Mrs. Grubworm. Let me go. Please, go away. I'm going to be sick. I'm going, I'm going. Old graphic. It's kind of, JP, yeah, it's, although it's new, this game. Believe it or not, but it's um, definitely indie, we'll say. Set so in Yorkshire, where I'm from. Yorkshire's like the Aragon of uh, the UK. So we might use the fish with that. I think all that's good for is getting rid of hazardous chemicals. Mm. Yeah, this is like Thimbleweed Park is another one that's uh, kind of popular now. 
I'd better not. Well, I need to get rid of it. This is the second worst smelling thing I have ever put That's in my plow bag. Snow. Is that a euphemism? Are you uh, going to actually plough snow? <laughs> exactly. You don't want to know. No, please, don't make me look at it. Uh, what could I use? Could I use anything in there? I think all that's good for is getting rid of hazardous chemicals. Hey, peculiar primate. How are you doing? How are you? Currently. I think well, there was something up there, wasn't there? Maybe I didn't. No. All right, I'm back here. You want to let me go there? Quite using mud on him. I'd better not. No. If we look at the mud, it's a clump of sticky mud. Mm. I don't think it would survive that. This thing looks lethal. Oh, it's something lethal. Looks hilarious. <laughs> and she is. She is very juicy. No, please don't make me look at it. We've just we finished episode one. This is the bonus episode. This is the prequel. Hey up, Steggy. I'm gonna sort out this slug situation. I can't remember what fun. that guy wanted. I don't think it would survive that. This thing looks lethal. Mm. The fish? I'd better not. Very juicy. I go in there for some reason. I should probably leave him be. You can use that again. Yeah, that's it. Give me your tears. <laughs> hey, Frosty King, how are you doing? Are dead? This is a game called Yorkshire Gubbins. Which is a point and click adventure set in Yorkshire, the greatest county. God's own county, they call it. Um, I got this all. Let me go click it again, maybe. This has to work. You spread me. Me too. Either of you feeling a bit melty? Melty? No. Angry? Yes. Hello. Hey, Buster King. Thanks I'm so much for the follow. You are. Look. Oh, come on. How are you doing today? Have you played this game before? I'm doing very well. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I just saw this game on a tweet and ended up uh, getting it because I thought it looked interesting. Uh, might use that with that. Maybe. I'd better not. But if it's what about using this lethal thing with the mud? I don't think it would survive that. This thing looks lethal. Um, can I? Oh, what about the asbestos? Yeah, get the asbestos, smash it up, and then use that to spray on them. Got it. Right. Use with. Sorry about this, robot. I really hope you can't feel pain. Oh well. <laughs> Asbestos dust. Very dangerous. I'd better not. Ah. Just use it with this, maybe? I'd better not. No, just use it on them. I guess Muggins here needs to get this sorted out. Hurry! Everyone's waiting for me. I'm doing. Uh, sorry. Can buy toys too? Oh, nice. Oh, they're great. They're awesome, guys. Love chilling, uh, watching them. Often lurk. Great to finally meet them uh, last month. If I use the asbestos dust. It'll just blow away in the wind. I wonder if there's something I could mix it with. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, maybe with mud. Okay. Yeah. Mash the mud and the asbestos together. Wow! Not too clumpy, not too dusty. It's like sticky brown confetti. Oh, amazing. Use that then with... Hey, up, look at this. It's sticky brown confetti. Try not to breathe it in, though. Oops. 
What's wrong with you, Steggy? I needed to know which one of you was the stickiest. Eh, uh, she's the stickiest. No, it's her. Bloody hell. Well, that's all three tests. I still have no idea which one of you is which. So, what now? Steggy, help! What's happened? I've been cloned by a slug monster. Steggy, help! You know what? Steggy, help! No, that's just ridiculous now. Sort it out yourselves. <laughs> oh, there you go. Ah, top mod. Top boy toy mod, nice. What games do you play, Frosty? Steggy. Steggy. There was something funny in the... Credits in the first one. Charlotte, go again. Sorry, I got a control flicky freak. Go. Charlotte, do I have to do everything? Go. Well, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. Go. Well done, the cat. Two weeks. He returns. Ah, so that was the prequel. Okay. Oh, that was awesome. There you go. That is Yorkshire Gubbins. The latest episode was Humble Pie. Uh, the version one. Exit to desktop. I don't be daft. Or I'm done. Or oh, don't be daft. Oh, what games should we play now? I'm going to have to test my adapter. My controller adapter. Yeah, Charlotte. Is that, was that, actually, is that your proper name? Your, are you Charlotte Go? Played PUBG and CS. I've never played CSGO. 